home to the East Carolina Pirates, where the purple has engulfed this place as they are ready for a showdown. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the North Carolina Tar Heels, taking on a team from the AAC, the East Carolina Pirates. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Pirates will put total weather to crank us up. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So North Carolina's offense will start this game off. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. They intercept it. Takes it the other way. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Purple Pirates. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. You always want to come out and set the tone as a defense. Get a stop. Make a punt. How about this? Get the INT and take it back to the house. Way to set the tone for this defense over there. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner is stopped. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Motion from the offense. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. On the Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll toss it. At the 40, there he goes. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Tar Heels come to the line with a new set of downs. To the ground, he's got it again. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Okay, ready? Now lining up to snap it in the red zone. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, North Carolina. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was Pater. And he did make that extra point. No issue with the treacherous footing. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Nothing wrong with the touchback, and they wish they had one right now, but he stopped at the nine-yard line. So East Carolina's offense will go to work for the first time today. And it won't be easy to throw the ball down the field today, David, because both of these teams have locked down corners. I mean, these guys shut down half of the field. Playmaking cornerbacks that really can play man-to-man -man and lock down the best guys on the other side. Yeah, if I'm a quarterback in this game, I'm taking a calculated risk if I'm thrown towards one of these two dudes because you're just asking to get picked off. And here comes the offense on second down. Leaves it with the running back. Great move there. He's out of bounds after a really nice game, but there is a marker on the field. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. 
They'll line up for a second down play. Garcia to pass. He's got his man. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Snares it outside, it's right. Well, they weren't able to gain a lot of real estate on that last completion deep down in their own end. If anything, if you're looking for a silver lining, I guess the punter maybe has a little bit more room to try to get one off now on fourth. Feels the punt and tries to help improve that field position. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. They'll try the run. And he'll be brought down. Well, the defense may have been caught off guard a little bit on that play. It was second and long. They weren't expecting the run. So now we've got third and manageable. And they've got to be wondering to themselves, is this offense going to try to run the ball again? Little touch pass to the receiver. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And the Tar Heels are moving quickly down the field. On the option. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. We played one, and we are right back where we started. All tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keeping those vibes going here in the second quarter. This offense has a second down play. Snagged on the outside, it's Jones. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside, and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside when that quarterback can go in the right direction. And here they come going for the first down on fourth and two. Looking to throw, it's Harold. And the incomplete pass turns the ball over on down. Line gets set, first down. Looking to move it through the air. Gets it out fast. At the 35, he's got room. Running toward the tape. A massive pickup on that one, and they're in business at the 21. And the Pirates come to the line in the hurry up. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Quick strike complete. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. They'll run play action. Looking to the big tight end. It's caught. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Pirates. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. 
Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. And a flag comes in as this one falls incomplete. Let's see what the call is. Illegal the legal the legal 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 So he just lost track of where the line of scrimmage was. The illegal forward pass will wave off the play. Penalty will be accepted. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Under heavy pressure, lets it fly. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Despite failing earlier on fourth down, they will try again here. Pocket starts to collapse. And the incomplete pass lets this defense get the ball back for its own great field position. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. The give to the back. Nice move to keep moving. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. From the gun, running back on the move. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, East Carolina. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them on top, 21-7. to seven. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. East Carolina, 21, North Carolina. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Trying to find his man on first down. Let's it fly. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum, cut it to a one score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. And this is a really important series of plays, a chance to cut into the lead. Just Touchdown, Tar Heels! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. North Carolina, 14. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. They've got time. They've got the lead. And David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm. He's off to the races. At the 30. The 10. Touchdown, ECU. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Back to pass. It's Harold. He unleashes a long one. Makes the catch on the left. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. 
Comes out throwing on first down. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Taking it the other way. He's at the 40. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Smith. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Absolutely perfect. And now the lead is even bigger. That lead in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Coverage team dare to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one, thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Tar Heels will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes with the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. They didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football with that. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. The Pirates will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Gets it across the 30 to the 31, a pickup for five. A third and long coming up here. Garcia wants to throw. And that pass picked off. Got some room to run. Running inside the 20. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, UNC. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31 21. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Ohio is currently ahead in this one inside a jam-packed Peden Stadium, but the Bobcats have struggled to really pull away. They're up by four over the Coyotes. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Gives it to the back on the draw. Powers ahead, gets four, he's down at the 10. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Using the quick game. 
Really nice gain. Gets it out across the 20. It'll be a first down at the 22. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. Pressure coming. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And they're trying to dig out of the hole on second and long from the nine. They'll go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Oh, look out! Smashes through the tackle. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Purple Pirates! No step back in week three. They have been sharp as they extend the lead. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. He fires one deep down the right side. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pack. Going for the big play. Grabs it inside the 10. Touchdown, North Carolina. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. North Carolina, 28. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's got it on the right. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Garcia to pass. Gets it out quickly. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And the Pirates will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Heels to punt and try to pick up some yards. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will sound shot. Opening play of this drive comes from the 34. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. Gets open down the middle. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. There's a great saying in football. It's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Well, my Jimmy's better than your Joe. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. And he makes the grab at the 20. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Tar Heels. 
That quarterbacks have to do a great job in the pocket, letting routes develop, taking their time. He does, throws the ball down the field, receiver catches it, and then does the rest. Takes it in to the end zone for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. North Carolina, 35. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David, and after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, beat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Release to the back. Caught near the sticks. It's Bond. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. The Pirates will bring the punt team onto the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Pulls it in at the 25. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score, your defense does your part. Jesse, this offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. He'll toss it. And they'll ride him down, but not before he picked up the first down. And how about the timing on that pitch? Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the option. The ball carried by the Second down. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Looking to throw, it's Harold. They're setting up the screen. At the 45 on his way. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And the Tar Heels are on the move. He'll try to do it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. The Tar Heels will line it up on first and ten. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. But jet sweep pass. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Right down the boulevard, it's good. Final minute of play. We are deadlocked. Guys, what a finish we're experiencing. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. East Carolina sending the offense. 
offense back to work. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do, so tempo's gonna be important. You gotta go fast, you just gotta make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, so you try to maximize this time and get in a position to win. Garcia wants to throw. And with the completion out to the sideline, they'll pick up a couple. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. Timeout is called by the defense. 19 ticks remaining. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wants to bring it back. Slips through the line. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. The offense set for a first down play. He wants to throw. He's going for it all. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. Timeout on the field, and four ticks left to go. On second down, wants to throw it. Trying to get behind the defense. Incomplete, the final play of regulation, and now we head to overtime. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, and, and the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. Got They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. Quick spin on the rod. The receiver carries the ball. Brought down at the 20-yard line. And the Tar Heels have pushed it inside the 20. They'll run it. It's Hampton. Not a lot there. Picks up one inside the 20 to the 19. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. On the option. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The tension, the intensity, the drama. The offense steps to the line on fourth down in overtime. Throws to the tight end. Touchdown, UNC! And they're on top here in overtime. Now to push the lead to seven in overtime. And the extra point is true, and they're on top the by seven. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Caught over the middle. It's right. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. First snap in the red zone on this drive. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the grab. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The inside handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Huge third down to keep the drive alive. They need a touchdown on this possession. Snap it to the back. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Now, a fourth down. Fourth down, and here's the ball game right here. 
Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. This, the biggest play of the game so far. Going for it on fourth down in overtime. They stop him short of the marker and they'll turn it over on down. My pulse rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one for free. Wait, I don't want to get carried away there, but it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> it really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we just saw. What a great win for this team to go out and do it in overtime. That's the type of game that fans are going to be talking about for a long time, baby. Great game. Yeah, right. If you know Reese Davis, that is not happening. But we got a free game that was awesome. Back and forth, nip and tuck. And bonus time. You got some free overtime playing that one. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.